Okay, in the second part of this video on showing you where images will cut from make the cut to click and cut, um, I'm going to show you how to get images to cut at the origin that you set on the material. Now obviously I could just move the image over to wherever the origin is. Um, I'm in landscape mode as you can see here and so in landscape mode this would be the origin up here and I could just move this arrow up way up to the corner and let's zoom in close so you can see it and you would want the right side of your image and the top of your image to be aligned along right uh, right where the shaded area uh, ends, right where the, the, the kind of the darker uh, line is for the mat in the top, you know, right along the top here and right down here. That would be the origin. Or alternatively, um, you know, if I were working in portrait mode, let's switch over to portrait, then instead of that corner, it would just be this one down here. I just move it down and again, it's right where the shaded part ends, uh, both on the right hand side and this time on the bottom, okay? And that gets a little tedious, you know, because you have to zoom in, you have to use your arrow keys to get it perfect, if you need to be that perfect. Now, if you just get it close, you're probably fine. But sometimes, you know, you, you do want it to be starting to cut right at the origin, and you want it to be simpler than having to move the image. And there is. It's a very easy way to do it. So what you do is you have your, uh, your arrow. You click on the scissors to send it to the cut window. Again, make sure you have all the settings you want to use. Click on Start. And now then, instead of using fixed length, you're going to select Rolled Material, click on the, uh, the wrench, and then you want to set the margins to zero and zero. And then, because otherwise, if you have any margins in there, that's the distance that's going to move it away from where you set the origin to start to, uh, to, to cut the image. And then also before you move, make sure you check the, the box for Y margin. Have X and Y margin selected. Click on OK. And now then, you're, we're ready to send it uh, to cut, and uh, we'll have a look at what happens. Okay, so now that I'm going to set my origin first, I need to turn on the laser. I go um, offline, press Menu, press the Origin button, and the laser light is on. And then go offline again to move the um, to set the origin. Now, because um, you may not want to set it right right at the tippity tip corner of your paper, it's kind of up to you. I'm going to set it in just a little ways. And then I'm going to press the origin button and then go back online and set my speed and my pressure. And now then I'll be ready to click begin um, in the software. Okay, and then you can see, let me move this out of the way, move this forward, and then move this back a little bit, and you can see that it basically moved it. If you were to bring these lines down, it would be right at where I set the origin, um, you know, earlier with the, with the laser light. Okay, and then again, the same thing is true if I were to go, uh, if I were to change it to landscape mode, and then same thing if I get ready to send it to cut, Let's go ahead and uh, click on the, uh, the scissors and then click on start. And this time it's going to, it'll do the same thing, only um, this time note that, you know, because I'm in landscape mode, instead of my arrow going the left right on my paper the way I see it over here, it's going to be pointing downwards towards me. And so then let's go ahead and do that cut. Okay, this time I'm going to set the origin. Uh, let me get the menu, I mean get the laser turned on. And I'll set the origin, let's say, um, instead of coming all the way down, I'll set it, let's say, about right there, okay? And now then let's uh, click on Begin for the cut. Okay? And then, again, it would have, you know, if you measure where these two lines intersect, this is where I had set the origin. There's another reason to use the roll material option, and that is if you're object is so large that you can't fit it on the mat. Now there is a larger mat available, the 24 by 12 inch mat, so you do have that to use, but let's say you're cutting something from vinyl. Let's say you're cutting out, uh, oh, I don't know, happy birthday, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue using an arrow just because it's a simple thing to, uh, to use. But let's say you've got some you know, vinyl wall saying or, or whatever, and it's too big to fit on the mat, something like this. Well, no problem. Go ahead and you know, create your object. Don't worry about the fact the mat ends over here. Click on the scissors to cut it, and then it says there are objects outside the cutting area. Are you sure you want to continue? Go ahead and say yes. And then again, you have your settings here. They're fine. Click on start. And now then, again, you want to have your rolled material. Now, if you are cutting from rolled material, then you might want to have some margins because you don't want to, if you're setting your um, origin right at the very tippity-tip front right corner on something like vinyl, 
you will run into problems because you just can't have it roll in and out perfectly straight um, all the time. And so one of the things, so you want to give yourself a little room for error. And so the defaults that are already built in to make the cut happen to be one inch. And so you'll want to go ahead and use that. Now this one, the, the original one, I believe the default, it might be zero on the Y. I can't remember, or maybe it doesn't use the Y margin, something like that. But I recommend just go ahead and turning it on and use the one in one inch. Or you might want to make it more, whatever, just however much margin you want. And then click on OK. And now then on the mat, I can see that, uh, and by the way, you'll definitely want to be in landscape mode for this because you would want to be trying to cut this arrow left to right if, if, if it's wider than the cutting range of your machine. So that's why you'd want to be in portrait. So this thing is definitely cutting down the length of the material. Okay, and so then once you have that set, then, oh, by the way, it's kind of cool here. You can always like turn on um, this, check this little box that shows that I've set the, the margins are set for one inch and one inch. You know, you can just leave that checked. And so that will always pop up and let you know what those margins are. That's very nice uh, to have that. And then up here, it also tells you how much material, you know, you're going to need uh, in order to cut your image. Another really nice feature. Okay. And then when you're ready, well, you're going to click on begin. Okay, so what I have here, I've, I have a very long sheet of paper that I'm using to kind of simulate the use of vinyl. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to uh, set my origin right up here close to the front. Um, again, you know, I'm not going to try to get a tippity tip, that's close enough. And then I know that I also have another inch border around both of them, just uh, kind of for safe, uh, just, just to make it, just for insurance. So I'm going to set my origin and go online, and now that I'm ready to... Uh, click on begin to send that big arrow to, uh, to draw. Okay, and there we go. And you can see that uh, the arrow, it drew on this long sheet of paper. And you came in, you know, I had brought it in a little ways, but then it came up like another inch. And same thing over here on the side where it's at the widest, it's, it's over about an inch. A few more things I want to mention. Uh, first of all, let's say that you uh, do not like doing your, uh, using the alignment pin or the laser for setting your origin. You do have two alternatives. Let's go ahead and go to the cut window and I'll show you what those are. All right. Um, first of all, instead of using the Groovy or the Max for uh, doing your, uh, for your driver, come down and select the element, and then the baud rate must be set to 9600 when you have the element selected here, but on your machine you can change it to 9600, and you're really never going to see a difference because again that's just the, the transfer rate of data from the computer over to the machine. And so then if you do that, then uh, basically the offsets are set to zero, zero, so you don't have to worry about using your alignment device. You can use the, uh, the blade holder tip and to set your origin. The other thing is, if, but then again, if, you know, if you're going to be doing, um, if you're never going to be doing a print and cut, and here's another choice, if you're never going to be doing a print and cut at all, then you can click on, or let's say you're not doing them very often then click on this little wrench and then right here you can set the offset to zero zero and then again you can be using your your blade tip to set your origin um, or you know if you're going to be doing a um, print and cuts just on occasion then take note of what your numbers are after you get your your alignment pin or over here your laser once you get those calibrated write those numbers down in you know your little black book in your notebook where you keep all your important settings and then, as needed, you can just plug them in here for your print and cut and then go back and setting it to zero when you're not doing a print and cut. So that kind of gives you uh, the choices there. Uh, one more last thing I was going to mention. You noticed in the videos when I was doing them, it might have looked like the, the arrow was like a little bit more than what it should have been offset. Uh, the reason for that is because I was using the Sharpie pen instead of my blade holder. And so my blade holder is what's actually uh, calibrated to work, you know, uh, with the settings that are, you know, that are in the offset. And the Sharpie pen actually sits in a slightly different position than where the blade holder sits in the blade holder seat. So that's the reason for that. So anyway, that's the end of this video, and uh, I look forward to making more.